You know what? Uh, we're starting another day for our Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, Brother Bobby, it's another day we can serve him. Put yeah. him first in our life. Yeah. yeah. I still thank the Lord. You know, he came to us a safe trip. And David's family a safe trip last weekend with our camper. And we, we uh, been enjoyed some beautiful sights up in the mountains. And, you know, just to see God's creation, Brother Bobby. It's, it's wonderful yeah. to see stuff like that. And, it's good to be back home, amen. Yeah. That's the main thing. Uh-huh. It's good that we can come home, amen. Because yeah. um, many folks nowadays don't have a job or a home to go to. But I'm yeah. thankful right. for everything that God's given me. Yeah. Start off with prayer requests. Anybody have any outspoken prayer requests? Put it off. God, please, please pray for me and I'm Jesus. The Lord knows why. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Just Susan. Keep remembering my family and your prayers and also remember Travis Calmer that I was talking about in the boat and accident. Um, they're having a benefit for him. <clears throat> and we'll talk up very close to 62. Let's remember Sister Rose when she's in the hospital. Bob just the her and finally got her room last night. So I called the doctor last night and prayed with her. Let's uh, pray for her and pray for Brother Franklin. He's coming along okay. We got him off the respirator. So let's keep praying for him. Yes. Also, let's remember uh, Sister Ida this morning as she's enjoying it. They picked up the hospital or something to get some fluids there. Let's pray. Pray for them both all day. And that's why I pray for God. Be with him and his family. You know, we just got so many of this morning. Pray for all of our families. And pray for our nation, our leaders. And Lord, let's pray especially. There's a lost soul in this church this morning. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. You know, when I hear what I hear over the years, and I hear people signing peace treaties with Israel. I don't know what I don't know what I've been heard the preachers start hearing y'all fly. See when nations start making peace treaties with Israel. God says when they holler peace, peace, peace. That's right. Yeah. 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 Y
That's all I can say is get off that boat. If the yeah. devil's your anchor, get that boat back to somebody else. Yeah. 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 That's what we got a hold in it. Amen. Amen. God bless them. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, brother. Competition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, glory. Glory. Yeah. Help yourself back there, sis. <laughs> I have journeyed a long dark night out on the open sea. Sight unknown. 
When it says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Amen. That's what that word Amen. means, the loved one. Amen. You know, I think God's going to let us sing this song one more time. No, Give me let Jesus. Let it touch your heart. Touch your heart. Amen. Let's remember what God done for us. Yeah. He loved us as well. He yeah. gave his son down yeah. on his own yeah. earth and died for us, Brother Bobby. Now look what we're doing to repay him. We're destroying what he created. Amen. Yeah. Bless him, Lord. Hey. Hallelujah, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Did it, God? You did it for us. Bless the Lord. Bless the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Lord, what a way to say I love you. that Sunday evening on his broadcast and he was preaching on his false religions, false cults. He said if you are in that, are you involved in that, you on a boat that's got a hole in it. Your boat's leaking and if you stay, if you're hanging out it long enough and it keeps on leaking, guess what? It's going down. That's right. Amen. Leak your bottom boat and go down. Praise God, honey, when you got Jesus on you, bro. Amen. It won't, it, 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 Amen. It's going to hold. Yeah, bro. It's going to hold. Yeah, Let me tell you something. Jesus spoke directly to Peter. And when Peter seen Jesus at the fourth watch of the night, y'all know what time that was? That's four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Fourth watch of the night. The darkest hour, just before dawn. But here comes Jesus walking on that water. Amen. And Peter got kind of uneasy. He says, is that a spirit? Is that a, am I seeing things? He said, Lord, is that you? If that be your Lord, bid me to come unto you. And Jesus took those hands and yes. stretched them out and said, Peter, it is I. It is I. Amen. Amen. And boy, before Peter even had time to play, he jumped off of that boat and started walking on that water just like he'd be walking on that grave. I think. And just as he got right to Jesus, he went down. Yeah. And he began to sink up to hear him. Mm -hmm. I'm here, I'm going to tell you something. That's a good picture of what's going on in our world. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's a good picture. And if the devil can get Christians to look at the circumstances all around us, brother, you're going to be up to here just enough to it out and say, Lord, save me. It ain't my brother, it ain't my sister, it ain't them. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Yes, Jesus. Lord, help me. Yes, Lord, help me. And Peter was standing before the Lord, and he began to go down. He wasn't thinking about the people on that boat. He was thinking about Peter. Yeah, man. He was going down. And he said, Lord, I'm saying. And Jesus says, Peter, what have you got there? And he picked him up. Come on, boy. I'll reach you back to the boat. How many times have we failed? Jesus picked us up what? and led us back to the boat of safety. Right. Well, I'll read one scripture to you this morning. I won't hold you long. I just want to share this with you. Give God the glory for life. I really thank God this morning for the way God has moved in this little church. And I want to say to Brother Manuel back there, yeah, I'm glad to see you and your little daughter this morning. Yes, I called you twice, but I got to. The yes, answer machine wouldn't have set up, so I just said, well, he'll see my number. And know that I call you. So we're concerned, and you know when you're not here, we, we miss you. Amen. We miss you, we love you, appreciate you, brother, all of you. That's <coughs> what we do all of you. But I'll share with you some scripture over here in Psalms. Psalms 30. Listen to the words of it. The psalmist says, I will exalt thee. That's what we've been doing here this morning, exalting the Lord. O oh Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hath not made my foes to rejoice over me. Y'all know what foe means? That means enemies. O oh Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O oh Lord, thou hast brought my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Saying unto the Lord, O ye his saints, 
of his. Give thanks at his remembrance of his holiness. For his angry and fury but a moment. And brothers and sisters, listen to what I just read. I believe with all my heart, God is angry with America. That's right. Amen. Amen. I believe it just as sure as I'm here. Amen. God is not pleased with what he's seeing. Amen. God has blessed this nation for over 200 years. Yep. Brought us from the ship off of the Mayflower down through the wilderness in the frontier days, through the horse and buggy days, through the automobile days, through the airplane age, and all the way to the space age. Yeah. Look where God has brought us from. And what did they do when they landed at Plymouth Rock? They got on their knees and give God the praise. Amen. Yeah. Because God had led them to a land yeah. to where they could worship in truth and spirit. But look how people have turned their back on God since then. Yeah. His anger endureth for a moment, and his favor is light. Weeping may endure it for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. Amen. I want to leave that with you tonight and this morning. We may have weeping times yeah. over heartaches and troubles. Yeah. Over different things that happens in our families and our relatives and friends. But just remember, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And every tear you shed down your face, they don't go to waste. And you shed tears of joy, tears of sorrow. God knows every tear. Yes, He does. Amen. God said, Every hair on our head is numbered. There's not a foul that falls out of the air that God don't know about because God created it. God's got a record and He keeps it after it. Yeah. But God's angry, may be here for a while, but we're going to have joy in the morning. Amen. Amen. Jesus comes and says, Come on, church. Come on home, church. Come on home. Amen. Come on home. Yeah. And brother, when uh, as Brother Ralph says, Sester says, and I've heard other preachers say, Brother, when these nations over there begin to get with Jerusalem and Israel and begin to sign them peace treaties, God look out for those children. Amen. Amen. Woo! Well, we yeah. yeah, that's what they're talking about right now. Amen. Right. So, children, keep on praying and keep on trusting. Keep the faith. Jesus is coming. Amen. 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 That's all. Awesome. Remember, service Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock Wednesday night. And all that you know, we love everyone else. Appreciate you with all my heart. God has been so good here this morning. We're not going to dismiss. We're just going to say, turn around and shake each other's hand. We're going to come on in. Thank you.